got this guy over here spraying some stuff. So, not sure what he's doing, what he's spraying, but it's kind of nerving for me. Here he goes again, right here. I'm not sure what he's spraying over there, but he's spraying something. Looks kind of whitish. But very nervous about that. You know, me being a beekeeper, I don't like spraying. So. <laughs> I mean, I don't have not one dead beehive or be on the ground over here not one so it's like we're just gonna go up and down this orchard and figure it out it's just super stressful got almost 300 highs on that other orchard and it's just stressful these people they don't care about my bees all they care about is their crop we just see kind of what's going on like no dead bees no signs of any kind of a uh, it's over here we're just gonna go down this whole aisle and check them all out no dead bees not one dead bee so it's kind of gonna be just a video about if there's any dead bees on this orchard on the ground but there isn't the bees are just beautiful out here and everything's getting ready to pop see so look at the flowers see them they're just beautiful beautiful getting ready to pop some of them are already popped so as you can see these ones right here they're getting ready to go pretty soon too but some of them are opened up already. Look over here. Got a little bit of some early stuff coming out. That's what the almond uh, flowers actually look like. It's kind of hard to see. So well, let's just keep going down, looking at the ground, and making sure there's nothing wrong with them. And we'll head over to the other orchard and see the damage. Yeah, what they're doing is like on the other orchards is they're spraying stuff like this, you know. It's not as big on the other orchard. They maintain it a little bit differently. But this kind of stuff is what they're, they're spraying. These things, you know, my bees are visiting them. They're just spray they're spraying all this stuff they don't want and killing it with uh, no respect, literally. So, uh, just keep riding it out and figure it out. So far so good. It's about like 45 or so right now. It's a little rainy out here. It was sprinkling like a half an hour over here ago, so. The bees are just beautiful. They're healthy. There's no dead bees on the ground or anything like that. Any kind of pesticides. That one looks good too. So far we're at 100%, 100% no uh, problem. These bees on this orchard are almost up to a 12 frame average. So they're, uh, they're growing and doing really well over here. The other orchard has an 11 frame average and they're not even getting big or nothing. We'll see what happens. I 
On the plus side though, I do have a good company that I'm working with. I believe it's a, my first year working with them. But they are just really on the spot with uh, any kind of communication and, and all that. Um, it's, it's the orchard owners that we got a problem with, I'm sure. Brokers are just wonderful this year. This is their equipment right here. So far, they're just really good people to work with. I'm really happy with them and how they uh, how they just communicate real well with me. Other brokers in the past are just they don't call you back the same day or even a couple days later. You got to call them a few times. They're just I've got no time for you. Some of them. And if you're not like a big guy, then they really treat you like a small guy. So they think you're just a bottom feeder half the time. And that's how they use you too, so... It's pretty messed up sometimes, some years. But, um, this company's different, I can tell. These bees are foraging. So that, that girl just came home. They're gonna start coming out pretty soon. Everything looks good down this aisle so far. I can see some flowers here and there, but really nothing's probably gonna pop like a hardcore for another week or so, I'd say, by looking at them. But like that one's pretty far off. <laughs> See how tight those are? They're like, they're pretty far off. See how tight that is? So, then you come over here and, and these are looking good. And that one's getting ready to open up. So, yeah, these ones are opening up a bit better. You can tell. So, yeah, it just depends on the tree a lot of times. Each one's gonna be a little bit off. But I'd say the majority of them are at least a week from showing themselves. It's where the bees can really get going. Look, look at that one. It's a beauty. She's early. They're opening up. See, they're they're not too far off. These ones. So there's going to be plenty for them to eat. And I'm looking up and down this row actually, and there's some good good looking trees that are starting to pop. So looks good. But let's get back to business though. And while I'm here, taking another trip out here when I'm not supposed to be here till Friday. It's not fun because it's about seven hours on the road. Not super far from here, but far enough to where it cost me money and a lot of time that I I kind of need, you know. But it's part of the business, and it ain't fun sometimes. I'll tell you that. It's just horrible. Look at these girls. They're pretty active. That one just came home and then one left. So. But there's no bees on the floor at all over here. I mean, these bees are just healthy as a horse. Those girls are foraging a bit, coming home. So. I try and uh, choose my stock, actually. When I make my queens and whatnot, is, uh, I like to choose the ones that are a little bit more active when it's cold. Um, one of the things I actually do is there's a lot of rain out here, but when it's cold and a little bit rainy um, I always go out to my bee yards and look for the outperformers. I just feel like It's a good idea Especially when I come out here and Trying to pollinate almond crops. I can see that it's a really good idea for these guys too to have bees like that.
everything looks good so far. There's no dead bees on the fronts of the hives, the floor and all. Pretty happy. But, um, who knows how it'll be over there at the other yard in Arvin. I'm in Metler right now. So we're about 10 miles from the other yard. Looks good. So. Everything looks really good. I don't see not one issue with this row, so I'm really happy. I think we're not going to worry about this area anymore. And we're going to move on to Arvin. Trying to figure some things out over there now. But you can see the flowers are blooming a bit out here, but still pretty far off from having a nice full bloom. Yeah, scary stuff, so. But I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like on the other yard too. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hopefully everything's good. I don't have to worry too much, but I highly doubt it. Let's, uh, we're going to start from the beginning on this one. I'm not going to go to the middle of everything and see what's going on first. Just uh, take a look at this area up here, this aisle. Are so good. Those ones look good. You can tell there is some die off, though. I mean, I don't know how many just flew out and died, that's for sure. But I mean, look at that bee, it's dead right there. Huh? It's not normal. Those bees would carry that bee all the way out, you know? But, we'll see what happens. Looks okay. These trees are just so far off from blooming, it's like... They're real tight. They're real far. They had plenty of time to do this before anything, so if something did bad, bad did happen, then... Just see. It doesn't really make sense to me that they would spray while my bees are here at all. Look, that got hit recently. So that was hit. We were just here a few days ago. They keep hitting my hives too. And it rained and it's like, thank you. There's so much room right here. You know what I mean? And there's so much room right here but they just keep hitting my hives. I mean, we'll see how many times more they hit them. So that's, they already hit, that's the eighth one now. They don't know how to drive either, in my opinion. Oh, here's some stuff. Ooh, 
See what I mean? Look at that. Those are all dead bees. Man. Those are all dead bees right here. Just a bunch of them. They're all over. Who knows, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not a scientist or anything. I can't, any kind of explanation, but that's just a lot of bees. So I would say this, this hive probably lost, uh, I don't know, a frame or two? At least a frame, I would say. And then, uh, I don't know about that one, but they're just all over the ground, you know. That's not normal. That's not good. That's not what I do. So. Oh, shit. There's some more right here. Even the larvae, look. There's larvae. There's just dead bees all over, even on the side over here. Man. It's not fun so far. There's just dead bees on the ground everywhere. So far, right there, at least on that pallet. Man, that one looks better. There's nothing right there that concerns me. This one too. These girls didn't catch anything, hopefully. Look at all those dead bees. And so they definitely caught some of this poison. They were just running up and down these aisles, just spraying during the day. My bees were out foraging, literally bringing in a little bit of pollen and nectar. Just a lot of dead bees. I wonder how many didn't make it back to die right here, you know what I mean? Seriously. They definitely got pesticide exposure. I would say, look at that. Just a healthy looking bee, in my opinion. Yep. That thing is furry too. This is a furry bee. This is a young bee. She's... <laughs> She should not be dead. Oh, look. They touch the ground. I don't think they can get up when they touch the ground for sure. Man. I don't know. It just ticks me off though. I mean, look at the dead bees right there. That's just not normal, you know what I mean? The weather's been so good out here. These bees will go out and die, you know what I mean? Like nothing. They're not dying right here. The weather's beautiful out here. Yeah. Just keep pushing. Let's see what we can see. Looks like I'm gonna have to document this whole area. Okay, they look better. There's some dead bees right here on the ground a little bit. But nothing like those other ones. It's 
Definitely dead bees all over the ground though. Here and there, you know. Going around like the side over here of the pallet. Just wanting to get away, I'm sure. That pallet looks good. That pallet. There's definitely some uh, some die off. Don't really know what it looks like in there. I'm gonna crack some of them though. There's a lot of die off right here. I mean, it's a lot of bees. It just uh, died. Some right here. So, man. It's a pretty big orchard. Uh, I don't see a huge reason why they would spray. Ground, I mean, but look, here's what they're spraying. You see these little flowers? That's what they're spraying. So that's what they're trying to kill. And, you know, my bees just getting the shitty end of the stick on this one because of them. Look, look at all the dead bees. They're on the front of the hive dead like that. Look at that bee right there. She's still alive. She's still alive but dying. <sighs> that is just heartbreaking right there to see. See that bee right there? Do you see her? She's alive half alive these ones too it's like man not a tremendous amount but enough to concern me definitely I and mean, look at them just dead on the fronts of the highs on this pallet man there's a lot of dead bees on the ground right here too. It's just so stressful dealing with this stuff. These people, everything that's just out of your control, but kind of she should be in a little bit of control, you know what I mean? When it comes to doing stuff like this for people, but they don't care. They got their own agendas. Too bad right there, but there's definitely some die off. These girls got some of it for sure. That thing's just fresh right there. They're just practically dead. Quite a bit of die off, you know. They were just starting to brood up and coming out of winter, or had a hard cold snap, just anything. But nah, the weather's beautiful out here. And there's just dead bees everywhere because of these people. 
They're everywhere. It's a dead one right there. Dead one right there and a dead one right there. Some dead bees, it's kind of hard to see, but there's plenty of them right here. Just healthy looking bees. Furry. You know, they're not shiny or bald or nothing. They look just like that, but dead. So, heartbreaking. It's not fun at all. You know, even for them to bring down my average by a frame or two, just, it ain't cool. I don't really care. Just wouldn't have brought them out here, literally, if I'd known they were gonna fuck around like this. I mean, they're just, when the bees are dead, like just over here, you can see that's just shut. There's no reason for them to die right here. There's no opening or nothing like that. It's just, uh, they're just, they're dying where they can, you know, and not away from the hive because, well, they can't. In my opinion, they're probably just crawling around over here, half dead. So, trying to get away, but they can't. So whatever, I don't know. What I do know is they're suffering the repercussions of a bad decision made by somebody other than me. That's for sure. And look at that. Look at all those bees. Just healthy looking bees. But they're dead. That's a decent amount of bees right there. They're not wet. See, it rains. These bees are not wet at all. You know what I mean? They're really, really dry. All right, so we're done with this aisle right here. This is the last of this one, so. Go ahead over to another one. All right, so this is what they're trying to avoid, I think. Just stuff like this happening. Yeah. That way the bees probably don't visit it. There's a, uh, in my opinion, this is a good thing though, if they would kept this up and uh, maybe even throw a little bit of different flowers around here. My bees would actually uh, produce more, especially when they want them on the first. And this thing, it's like, I don't know, the fifth, I think, right now. Let me check real quick on my phone. So, it's the fifth. Sunday, February 5th. Trees aren't even near blooming. <laughs> to me, it's just, I don't get it. Other than it's just stupid. You know, you want to spray, that's fine. I'll bring my bees later. I don't care. Just let me know when. I'm only like three hours away. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that's what they're avoiding. They don't want that kind of stuff. So, I understand, but there's a time and a place for everything. to the middle one, middle row, and see the damage on this one. Nice hawk right there, it's hard to see, but it's a nice little red tail. Just flew off of one of the trees. It's the first time I've ever seen any kind of trash on an orchard too. You know, it's like styrofoam stuff, whatever. But, hey. Makes sense a little bit. Huh? All right, let's 
get over there and figure this out. Alright, so just a little walk. I had to break it up a bit so it ain't so long, but here's the first pallet we're coming up to. I see nothing but dead bees all over the ground. They're fanning pretty hard in there. There's just a lot of dead bees right there. And all over a bit. Just kind of going off and dying. Just right around the hive. So this side's pretty good. I, mean, I wouldn't say it good. I still see dead bees and stuff, but there's a bit of a massacre right there for sure. So. Okay, so. Bees in front of that one. Oh. Just a bunch of dead bees right here. On the front right there. It's not a tremendous amount on this hive. But, yeah. And there's way too many on that one though. That one got the shitty end of the stick. Let's go over here before I skip it. This one looks good. Can already tell. That looks good. This one I noticed that there's just dead bees all over. Right here. She's taking that one out. Dead bees, dead bees. So, looks like these girls got them away from the hive a bit better than the other ones. There's not so many that just kind of perished right in front of it. So, I really wonder how many bees I actually lost. Which is probably more than what's showing, I'm sure, by far. So, that one looks good though. Head over here. Right. There's definitely a, a die off right here, too, of bees. Check this out. It's pretty good. This one looks good. There's nothing right there. This one caught a little bit of some. Just a lot of bees. Okay. That one looks pretty good. Yeah, that pile looks good. Okay. That pile looks good. It looks pretty good. There's a few dead bees. I'm sure they caught a bit of it, but looks okay to me still. This one had a little bit of an issue. For sure. 
Dankeschön. Almost done with this center aisle. I'm gonna go check the ones on the uh, other aisle down there. See what they look like. It's a little muddy out here right now because it rained a little bit this morning. I can notice just a lot of dead bees everywhere, honestly. But there's just a lot, like, in front of the hives. And these ones, too. They're, like, everywhere. It's unfortunate. But there's, like, dead bees just everywhere. So. I mean, they're everywhere. If I walk, I mean, we're way far away from the pallets, you know, there's just dead bees everywhere. So, it's pretty upsetting. Alright, let's go back over here to this pallet. Looks like they had a bit of an issue for sure. Got a little bit of it too, you can tell. Got something, that's for dang sure. There's just a lot of dead bees all over the ground. Well, you can't see them that well too. I wish it was better and easier for you guys to see on the video. But there's just a lot. I mean, it doesn't even look like there's that many right there. But there it is. There's chunks of them. Literally, that's a chunk right there. The bees. You can see they're just all over the ground. right here. It's not fun. Okay, huh? so there's still a lot of bees just all over the ground dead. Even on the ones that don't look super bad, there's still bees on the ground dead. It's like not fun. Let's check out this last part of this aisle and then uh, finish up right here. Okay, so not too bad. But there's a lot of dead bees still on the floor. Still. A lot of dead bees right there too. See that one right there? It's not good. 
That bee is just pretty much a goner. Quite a lot of bees right here, actually. Look at that drone. She's just not happy. Bees are in there a little bit. Just a chunk of dead bees right here. Man. You know, I'm looking at the fronts of them, but. Also, there's like dead bees just all over, so it's not looking at the front some to kind of tell which one's got the brunt of it. But I can tell that all of them got a piece of it for sure. Look at all those dead bees that just died. Uh, there's plenty more. It's hard to see kind of in the video a little bit. There's a lot of them. A lot more than should be there, that's for dang sure. Some more right here too. This one looks pretty good. On the corner right here though, so. We got this going on over here. There's definitely uh, some uh, some feed for the bees a little bit here. You can see the flowers are a little bit out there, like straight out right there on that little. Row. Those are flowers that the bees can get and out there too. There's a little bit for them to eat out here, that's for sure. Just definitely makes me happier, but the massacre doesn't.